So, I know I said that I was going to do my Tuesday video in the early morning to late afternoon in the last video I did. But, instead, I'm going to tell you the story of why I'm doing it tonight. And, um, also, I'm in front of the, my camper, just, just so you know what those lights are back there. Um, but, so I ended up doing it tonight. Number one, because I was having a hard time coming up with a topic for my, for my YouTube video, and I was going to do it about my duck who almost got eaten by a raccoon and miraculously um, recovered, and then I was going to tell you about something else, and then something else, and then something else, and something about my devotional. And, but I just wasn't inspired, so I realized um, a couple hours ago that the per there was a perfect thing to talk about, and that is... Uh, that is, um, oh, okay, so anxiety and stress. And that if you have physical problems, your physical problems may well be caused from anxiety and stress. Because um, recently I've ha had trouble breathing, or not recently actually, for a while, about my whole life, I've had, over the years, I've had on and off trouble breathing, like shortness of breath, like... Like, I don't know, there may be some videos that I've made that you see me going, or, or, or not as obvious, but like, okay, so, like that, like, shortness of breath, trying to get a full breath, and you can't get a full breath. If you've experienced that before, it is most likely because of anxiety and stress, and um, that's what it was for me, and I, it, it's been on and off, and um, it was recently getting worse it was like progressively getting worse and um one day I was stretching and I do stretches to where like if you go like this with your back it makes it hard to breathe and it's like like that and so um um after stretching one day it really works me up um it I was having a hard time breathing and I couldn't get my breath and it was really scary, and I think I was by myself, and so I called my mom and I told her. And she was at prison, and she actually had to come home from prison. <laughs> she decided she decided to come home, an hour and a half home from prison, to come back to me. Because I was feeling scared, and like I couldn't get my breath, and it was... So, anyways, I wanted to go to the hospital at night. I ended up not going, and obviously going to the hospital in faith. If you feel like you're scared, and, and um, you feel like like you're scared and like something bad's gonna happen, don't refrain from telling somebody because you wanna keep your faith. You can keep your faith, but tell somebody, you know, go to the hospital, but um, doctors aren't bad, but we've got Dr. Jesus. Anyways, to keep continuing with the story, I, um, I, uh, okay, so, so last night, Sorry, I keep looking around because there's like creepy bat noises and stuff. Um, so last night I was um, in bed. I was going to sleep on the couch in there. And um, I was having trouble breathing and my mom prayed for me. And I was just... <sighs> like that. <clears throat> and like every breath I took, it was like that. And I was starting to get really scared. It's really scary when you feel like you breathe in deep and you can't get a full breath. So I was going to bed, my mom was going to um, lay in bed with me and pray in tongues over me. Um, but I was starting to get really scared to where I wanted, um, even though I was believing, I just felt really scared and I wanted to be relieved. And so I wanted to go to the doctor, even though I really did it was, believe it was from stress, apparently not enough because I was stressed out and breathing hard. So um, we took me. We took me, it was like 11.30 to the emergency room. And um, I think it was in Lake Mary. Now it's called Advent Health. <laughs> and um, and we took me in. And by the time, by the time like halfway through the journey, like or, or three quarters through the way through the journey, my breathing slowed down and I wasn't having a hard time breathing anymore. And it's so ironic and so funny because since I knew we were getting close to the hospital, I calmed down and I was having normal breathing. And that right there proves it's stress related. So, um, 
so we got there we went inside and we signed in and everything and then um and I never go to the I never go to the doctor so I, I was like I was surprised by all this stuff we went into the like I don't know even what it is I don't even know what it is. This this shows we use Dr. Jesus. So I go in, I go in, the nurse, I guess, takes me into the, takes me and my mom and dad into a room before you go in. Okay, I think it was my bunny. A room before you go into the hospital. And Ian, like, puts this thing on your arm. No, I'm joking. I know what that is. It takes your blood pressure. Right? No, I'm joking. And then they put the, the, thing on your finger and then they put those like bands on my arm I'm sorry it's just I, I never do this so it's like really interesting to me they put like two bands on your arms and then like a like a blood pressure thing and then they take your blood pressure and I was like oh my hand <laughs> and then they put a weird thing under your tongue and, I'm like, and so yeah and then they do the the finger thing and so um after that that was weird so they take you through another door it's like this weird castle secret entrance thing and then um it's like this huge hallway back there with more people and so um they took us to a room um well you know they i she <laughs> she <laughs> she handed me the a little bottle with a ziploc bag in it i'm like what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Anyways, um, I went to the bathroom, came back, and then I um, got, went, we got into this little room, and um, to shorten the story a little bit, the doctor came in, and he told me that he, like, tested my back, and he um, asked questions, saw what it was about, and he said that I it's nothing to worry about and it's nothing dangerous and that it is anxiety and stress related and that um that it since it makes sense since that when she does physical activity she doesn't have a hard time breathing but when she's just laying down it gets hard and that is that obviously means it's anxiety and stress related and this is what the doctor is saying and um and um He said, um, I, that just that if I get full fast and it, it, I have a hard time breathing. Anyways, skipping all over that, he just said it was anxiety and stress related because I would have a hard time breathing when I should actually be easy breathing and then have easy breathing when I should be having a hard time breathing. So, all that to say, I was like so happy afterwards, my like full laughing, giggling self, and we went home and um, it was like, I was completely calm, no trouble breathing the whole way home. And it was like, um, it was like 1, 1, 10, 120 when we got home. And um, I went to bed and I was all peaceful and I laid down in bed and I said, you know, it's funny because I, I really, I thought I was, I was getting progressively worse, I was talking about before we went to the hospital. I said, I was getting progressively worse, and it's because I thought I was getting progressively worse. I, w I was worried I was getting progressively worse, and so I was getting progressively worse. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. If you think you're getting progressively worse, you will get progressively worse. And so I was. I thought I was getting progressively worse. I was worried I was going to get progressively worse. And I did get progressively worse. And so um, that was a relief once I got relief from the hospital, which is sad that I couldn't have just gotten it from Dr. Jesus. I feel bad about that. But um, I got it from the hospital. And um, I was relieved. And the stress went away. And I was therefore not worried and I was therefore not having a hard time breathing. Who is this car driving by? It's not my mom. Yay, I still have some time. Oh no, is this one my mom? No. 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 No, it is. Okay. So the point is, um, if you are having anxiety, stress problems, if you are having physical problems, it is because uh, if you're having a hard time breathing, it's definitely because of anxiety and stress.
probably. Hold on, because she needs to go inside so I can talk to you a little bit more. Hi, Ma. Oh, okay. Just, just wait. You know, just like go do your thing or something, you know, like it should be a couple seconds. Nice to see you, Ma. Okay, whatever. So, um, yeah, you having trouble? Be careful, Penny's out. to the train of thought. So, I was coming home and, um, yeah, and I was feeling all better since that I got checked out. And so, anxiety is a really big issue nowadays and it causes a lot of health problems and stress causes a lot of health problems and, um, emotional things cause a lot of health problems and spiritual things cause a lot, cause a lot of health problems and most of the time it's not physical things that cause physical health problems. Most of the time it's spiritual, emotional, things that we can't feel, see, touch, taste that cause emotional problems. I mean, that cause physical problems. <laughs> oh, I'm having a mental problem right now, no. Um, so, um, I just wanted to encourage you that if um, you are feeling stressed out and you are feeling like if your schedule is busy, like most people's schedule is, and you're, you're this and 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 this, you'll get more accomplished if you slow down, take it easy, take a breather, let yourself relax. I know it sounds funny, but if you slow down and let yourself relax and give yourself a break, you'll have the mental ability to get more accomplished instead of like rushing oh my goodness this and now this and this oh wait I can then I get to get yesterday oh my goodness this and this uh, bed and then oh oh this and this if you just slow down give yourself a second if you're going back and forth back and forth back and forth it, like with the um multitasking you don't get anything done with you multitask because you go to this and then you almost get done you're like okay I need to do this and this one thing at a time slow your life down take a breather it will get more accomplished for you and you'll be less stressed out your life will be more enjoyable and you'll probably see some physical problems go away and also another thing trust Jesus that he's got he's got your back and that um, I, I need to tell myself this because I should have trusted that Jesus wouldn't let anything bad happen to me and that um, that I wouldn't have any physical problems um, with the faith we have in him and um, I should have trusted him more so trust Jesus because everything was fine uh, we need to be faith wired not fear wired and I was fear wired that night and that's why when I when the doctors on this earth told me that I was fine I believed I was fine and I was fine again as a man thinks in his heart so is he I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I hope you enjoyed the <laughs> the, the um, pause and the my mom coming home. Sorry about that, and I hope to see you Friday. And um, is there anything else I had to say? Um, oh, 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 yeah. The reason why I'm doing it tonight is because I took ballet off. I would be in ballet right now, but the doctor told me that I could. I had to take that ballet off and have a stress-free day like I think he said in a school and he also said in a ballet so I could be stress-free and um relax and um that would help me recover so again if you are having any physical problems and it seems like it's like tension and, and nervousness it is probably stress related and if you would just like take some time every morning give it to Jesus and um lay all your burdens on the altar with praise music then you would see some changes in your life so um start doing it today and i will see you 
and that's only if you want to, but I suggest it. <laughs> okay, I'm rambling on now. All right, I'll see you on Friday. Bye.